I decided some time ago to learn Python coding because that's what the cool kids seem to be doing nowadays. And the best programming advice I ever got was try to make something you like and you'll learn faster. So I tried my hand at making a game. Pygame is a very popular Python-based game development library. Just to be clear, unlike Unity and Godot, Pygame is not a game engine. Clear Code has a good explanation of the differences between a game dev library and a game engine in their video, which I will link to in the description below. But what became my entry point into Python was not Pygame itself, but Pygame Zero. Pygame Zero is the brainchild of Mr. Daniel Pope, and while it uses Pygame under the hood, it is intended to simplify how Pygame is taught in a classroom setting. If you use pure Pygame, this is the minimum code you need to have just to show a blank window. But if you use Pygame Zero, this is the minimum code you need. And you'll see this highlighted in Mr. Daniel Pope's talk. So, Pygame Zero takes care of a lot of the Pygame boilerplate code, that is, the minimum code your game must have just to run. This benefits the classroom setting, so this is less stress for the teacher, I imagine, and also helps retain the student's attention. Another feature of Pygame Zero is that it simplifies sprite importing and rendering. Say you have a file called apple.png. To draw it on screen in Pygame Zero, just call actor and pass in the name of the file. Then call the draw function on that actor. For pure Pygame, after loading the image, you need to set a surface to draw it to and then call lit. Pygame Zero has a few more handy built-in functions. Let's look at animations with easing. Pygame Zero handles this for you using the animate function. On the other hand, pure Pygame doesn't have built-in easing or tweening as far as I know. I ended up using a separate package called PyTweening when I used pure Pygame and needed some easing functions. So, should you skip Pygame altogether and stick with Pygame Zero? The answer, as it usually is, is it depends. Pygame Zero is robust enough that you can make fairly entertaining games with it, but for some game features, pure Pygame might be a better choice, or you may want to explore other libraries like Piglet. One area that I struggled with in Pygame Zero was adding a menu screen. It's possible to do this, but it's quite hacky. I think it's probably due to how the game loop is enforced in Pygame Zero. What you need to remember here is Pygame Zero is a layer built over Pygame to make coding easier. If you find yourself frequently having to access the underlying Pygame objects, like Surface for example, in order to get your game to be the way that you want it to be, then maybe you need to transfer to pure Pygame. Anyway, whether Pygame or Pygame Zero becomes your entry point of choice into game development, or even just coding in general, I hope you are having fun and learning new things. I know I am! I will have some more videos in the future to talk more about my game development adventures, so please look forward to them. Till next time!